Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. In today's video, we're learning how to make a knot and loop flat braid paracord bracelet. So, I uh, really like the way this one turned out. A nice four color slim bracelet, knot and loop style, so no buckles required. I have done a buckled version of this before, but it was uh, without the gutted paracord. And yeah, this one turned out pretty sweet. So remember guys, if you're looking for where to get Paracord, uh, feel free to check out those affiliate links down below to support the channel. And also if you want access to exclusive tutorial videos as well as the monthly giveaway, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Links is in the video and in the description box down below as always. So that being said, let's get into the tutorial. So in terms of material, I've got my four different colors of Paracord here that are going to make up my bracelet. These are gutted. So um, yeah, snip off both ends of the paracord and remove the inner guts. I've got that. I'm also going to be using a bit of micro cord as you saw earlier. And I've got my core here. So I'm doing this uh, knot and loop. So uh, first out, we're going to tie our diamond knot. So let's do that right now. I'm going to take the strand on the right, make a loop, put it over the one on the left, and then with this cord here, put it underneath that cord on the right, and go over, under, and over. Get our carex bend. Then take this cord here, go past the one on the top, go through the middle this way. And then same thing on this side, go past this bottom cord here and up through the middle. Okay, and pull that closed. And then now I'm just going to adjust my knot and loop so it's the right length. And then we can start with the uh, main part of the bracelet. So I'm now on my jig, and as you can see up here, I left a loop up top big enough for the knot and loop. Now we can start doing our braid. So I've got my four cords coming out. Um, see, I kind of arranged them so they're kind of spread out, they're not all on like one side. I've got two coming out here, two coming out here. So we're gonna start with the red cord. I'm gonna bring it behind the core, behind the blue, in between these two, okay? And bring it and wrap it around the front, okay? Next, you're gonna take the kind of dark gray or the gray blue, and you're going to wrap that around behind core in between the red and the white and bring it in front okay and then next you're going to take the white wrap that around go behind in between the two cords on the right side and then in front and then now the blue you know the electric blue Bring it behind in between the two on the left and wrap it in front. Just give it a little tug, get everything nice and tight. And there you go. So you can see we cycled through all colors. So the easy way to think about it is whichever color is on top, grab that one. And don't forget it's going to be like left, right, left, right. So red behind, go in between. There we go. And then now see, now the, the gray is on top. Behind, in between, and in front. This is definitely a lot easier with a jig. So now white is on top. There you go. In between. And then back to the blue. See, there we go. So once you get the hang of it, the uh, braiding is pretty simple. And you're just gonna continue this pattern all the way down your bracelet, like so. And just make sure all the cords lay flat. Because we gutted this uh, paracord, you wanna make sure there's no twists or tangles because that will show in your bracelet. All right, so continue this pattern and let's go all the way 
down your core. And I'll, uh, we'll show you, figure out how to figure, finish it when we get down there. All right, so I've come down to the end of my bracelet. I took it off the jig to get as close to the diamond knot as possible. Now to finish it off, we're going to do what we did up here. I'm going to take another piece of micro cord and we're going to just tie another whipping knot and secure those four threads. And now before anyone says it, I know there's like, you can, there's a way to do this with a gaucho knot, but I haven't done a tutorial on a gaucho knot yet and I've yet to master that myself. So let's just do something simple. Okay, so again, I make the bend right there. Then I'm gonna just do about four or five passes around. And you can try to get this as close to the end there as possible. Okay, so just wrap that around. Make sure it's secured nice and tight so that uh, the cords don't come loose. And one more. Okay. And again, you're going to pass this loop through here. And I didn't do the best job of it here, but try to get this closer to the end just to secure those uh, cords because if they do come loose, you see it's going to expose more of the, the core. So try to get as close to the, the bottom as possible. I may redo this off camera. And then um, after you've done that, you can snip and singe the excess here, here, and at the top. Okay, and there we have it guys, we are done. There's a quick shot on the wrist. Super slim bracelet for this one. You can definitely uh, combo it with another bracelet or maybe a nice beaded bracelet. And yeah, I uh, like the way this one turned out. Pretty decently clean. Um, and yeah, you get that option of the four colors. So hope you guys like this one. If you want to do this one Mad Max style, just make this loop as small as you can starting out. Don't tie the diamond knot, feed the cords through at the end and then tie the diamond knot and you'll have a nice Mad Max version of this bracelet. All right, so that is it guys. And um, remember, if you like this content, uh, if you like this video, feel free to hit that like button. It does help me out a lot. And also if you're not subscribed already and you want to see more of this uh, type of video, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you on the next one.